guys, it's Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today I shall be breaking open the Warcry cards for Ossiac Bone Reapers. Yes! Oh, I am so excited for these. Alright, as some of you may know, I have a Ossiac Bone Reapers Age of Sigmar army being built. I guess these cards will determine which models I build first. Alright, who do we have? So these are our ability cards in the various different languages. And before we read that, what do we have? We have Cavalos Death Riders uh, with the Spears. We've got Necropolis Stalkers. And we've got Mortec Guard. Okay. Alright, what do we have? Double Naderite Weapon. Add one to the damage points allocated by each hit and critical hit from attack actions made by the spider this activation that have a range characteristic of three or less. That that's that's nice. Mm-hmm. Add one to the damage points. Yeah, that that's that's great. That's nasty. Uh, double form shield wall until the end of the battle round. Add one to the toughness characteristic of this fighter. In addition, until the end of the battle round, add one to the toughness characteristic of friendly fighters with the bulwark rune mark while they are within three inches of this fighter. That's nice too. I wonder what their initial toughness is. Next double, Hunt and Kill. A fighter can use this ability only if there is a visible enemy fighter within 6 inches of them. This fighter makes a bonus move action and must finish closer to the closest visible enemy fighter than they were at the start of the move action. Well, that is pretty nasty because you're probably going to move and then for a double you can move again. That's nasty. Hmm. Triple. Death Rider Charge until the end of this fighter's activation. The next time this fighter finishes a move action within one inch of an enemy fighter, put pick a visible enemy fighter within one inch of this fighter, allocate a number of damage points equal to the fighter e uh, damage points to the fighter equal to the value of this ability. It's good. That's good. Uh, triple Unstoppable Advance. Until the end of the battle round, add half the value of this ability, rounding up to the move characteristic of friendly fighters that are in the same battle group as this fighter. Well, that's nice. So you start off, you use your triple, everyone, everyone, until the end of the battle round, everyone gets to move a bit more. If you have a triple, that's nice. I wonder if this stacks. Until the end of the battle round, add half the value of this ability rounding up to the move characteristic of friendly fighters that are in the same battle group as this fighter. I don't see why it doesn't stack. Oh wait, this is a leader ability. Never mind, it wouldn't stack. You only have to ever get one leader, so you'll only ever have this happen the once, unless he started his turn did the triple, held back, started his turn later, did the triple again. It'd take two triples, but you could do it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, quad, Blade Strike Aspect. Add the value of this ability to the attack's characteristic of attack actions made by this fighter, this activation. Well, that could be quite nasty. Quite. Okay, that's neat. Let's have a look at these. We've got our two cards for doubles. Alright, Necropolis Dockers. You, I thought you might be the ones that did that. So the Necropolis Dockers have that nasty quad and the hunt and kill ability. Yes, you beasts, you. Look at that guy. Look how creepy those guys are. Isn't that awesome? Alright, so 5 movement, which isn't so bad at all. As fast as uh, Untamed Beasts, 
four toughness, 30 health, of course, for 200 points, 30 health. That's nice. Uh, three attacks, five strength, three base, and six crit damage. This is a good, he's good. What's the difference between you two? Oh, you've got two, two two-handed swords versus four swords. But five points less, you've got the four swords, you've got five attacks and versus three attacks. St uh, strength four instead of five, two, five. So there's a big difference here with only five points. But five attacks is awfully nice. On the other hand, that's three attacks. You have the quad could give you, I don't know, on average three. So that would bring you up to six attacks at five strength, three damage each versus eight attacks. Hmm, pretty nasty. Pretty nasty either way. And this one, this spider makes a bonus move action and must finish. Right, so if you have a double and there happens to be someone six inches away, then for free you move up and then you make two attacks. That's 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 pretty horrifying actually. Ah here we are. What was Oh, mount. Mount ability, of course. Um, so, 8 movement, 5 toughness, 20 health, 170 points versus these guys, 200. Uh, 2 range, t only 2 attacks, 3, um, 3 strength is not so nice, 2 to 5 base damage, which is all right. What is your special ability again? Triple. You charge. Until the end of this fighter's activation, the next time this fighter finishes move action, pick an enemy fighter, attack, allocate a number, but it is a triple. Um, yeah, with wild dice you definitely get a triple. So, on average, three damage immediately hmm not so sure there's only two attacks and a three strength hmm well let's add one to the damage points but it doesn't particularly matter if you don't hit Not sure about that. This one is three attacks, three strength, two, four. Hmm. This one seems pretty broken in comparison to these guys. Eight movement though. That's pretty nice. You're gonna get somewhere, and that's important for objectives. Um, five toughness is also great. That one has four toughness. Five toughness means you're gonna survive longer, so objective takers and holders, leader. So, and you're not so bad. Four attacks and four uh, strength, 30 health, yeah. You're not bad. Is that one the one that increases the toughness of everyone? Yeah. Increases toughness of everyone. The Mortec Guard. It's only three movement, but there's a free movement in there somewhere. Um, where are you? Oh, you're the... Ah, yes, you're the... Um, leader and you do get free movements and can give free movements so that's nice this isn't too much of a restriction as long as you have a triple you should have a triple because of least of wild dice so that's not so bad 
180 points. Four, four, two, yeah. All right, 95 points, three, three movement, four toughness, 10 health, three attacks, four strength, two, five, that's 95 points, that's not a problem there. 85 points has a shield. Uh, only two attacks, only three, one, four, little movement. High toughness though. High toughness can go a long way. So that's not bad. And you, three attacks, three strength. Again, high toughness. Yeah, these little grunts can take a lot of grunts. We could take, I don't know, like eight. Eight grunts and have room for a nice nasty guy. Kind of like these guys though, a lot. You could take, uh, oh, no leader? Did I miss the leader? Well, that's kind of neat. You don't have a leader. You need a leader. So you could take some of these guys, but you need to stick a leader in there. So you either need a more check guard leader or one of these guys. I like it actually. I like this. We've got little, we've got big nasty guys that people have got to stay out of melee with, but they're coming. They've got five. That's, 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 they're pretty ferocious. These guys are coming at you. And this guy has 30 health, so he's coming at you too. And then you've got a bunch of little guys that are fodder, fodder for the objectives. Fodder to get in the way so that they can't go for objectives. I, I like that. I think that's how I would play it. They look like a lot of fun. I'm, I'm actually surprised. That, I guess there's one thing that I'm surprised about, but I guess... Um, I mean, they really made those Necropolis stalkers really nasty. Um, but all of the healing and um, bringing back from the dead that the Bone Reapers can do, and they never had that in here. I'm kind of surprised about that, but I'd be nervous going against these on the battlefield. Oh my, and the size of these guys, like in comparison to your regular little guy. Look, the big, beefy brawler. Steve. <laughs> Still, big, nasty guy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. These are intimidating on the field. Be afraid, be very afraid. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, how are you going to build your warband? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye!